talked about Drew McIntyre is his unshakable confidence. Every time he heads to the ring, he does so knowing he's got all the courage and strength he needs to win the match. It's an attitude that served him well and maybe the ticket to him grabbing another win here. And you have Noam Dar, who's about to slap around a dafty or two here tonight. You're counting me in there, aren't you, Corey? <laughs> You're not as daft as I thought you were, Saxton. Oh! Right to the back. Oh! Now oh, trampling the opposition. To the back. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. Not good for the back and body. Tyler Bate, a man who has been making history since his first day in WWE. The first ever United Kingdom champion. Bate's not the biggest guy, and he's not the most experienced, but he is pure talent, bringing an unorthodox twist to the British strong style of competition. Bate is a grinder, a brawler, and frankly, a heck of a lot of fun to watch. And then we've got the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, a true student in the art of combat. No way! Suicide dive to the outside! Cole does it better. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. McDonough wasting no motion on the counter. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Oh, he fights bait back. Double underhook. Nice butterfly suplex. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Counter! And now there's an opening. You gotta be loopy after that. Big oh. impact. What's the best way to contend with a devious and ruthless opponent like J.D. McDonough? You have to take the fight straight to McDonough and don't let him. You can't give him room to play dirty tricks. Trap him in one place with hard-hitting attacks. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. Punch right in the head. He deflects it right back. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Oh, hard impact in the corner. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. One response after another, back and forth we go. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Neck breaker. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. And there's the Uranagi. Planted them. And J.D. gets that turn back on him. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Running knee! Uh, Tyler... Uh-oh! Knees up, had that telegraphed, but can it be capitalized on? Answering back! Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. 
strength with a Uranagi. And JD gets out of the way. Jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Boom! Ho oh, oh. ho! Ouch! Nasty headbutt! Not done yet! JD McDonough with the devil inside! He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Picture perfect drop kick. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in because the bill. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He's heading up top, thinking big. One. Good Lord, taking flight. You want to talk about putting it all on the line? Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. And now thrown back into the ring. Shifts it back onto him. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Oh, what a plex. And a standing shooting star. Oh, he fights Bate back. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. One, two, kick out, kick out. As close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. Ah, oh, saw it coming. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Oh, bop and bang. Brain Buster. A showcase of skill from Beat. I like this strategy against McDonough. Taking the fight right to him and not letting up at all. You're a Nagi! Kick to the gut. Double <laughs> under hook. Tiger Bomb. Wow. Stole run from his opponent's artillery. Wow. Just barely making it out. The biggest weapon in his artillery fired back at him, but he survived it. I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Kick to the gut. Double <laughs> under hook into a driver. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. There is no way this can go on for much longer. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. He turns it around. Shot to the back, softening him up. Oh, this this could be dangerous. This could hurt. No! Avalanche German suplex. When you're as good as Tyler Bate, you get to set the pace of the match. Yeah. This is going to be stiff. Back drop suplex. Continues the attack on the core. It could prove to be an effective strategy. Whoa. Look out! The dive! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Whoa. Spitting in the face of danger. Planning on what to do next. Oh, no, 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 no! Spine-shattering impact! Three. He knew that was coming. Four. Tyler... No! Not allowing that to go on any longer. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute Ooh. reckless abandon. And a reversal by Bait with a kick to the gut, double underhook. Oh, 
the Tyler Driver 97. We'll bait end this. Oh, shoulder up before three. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Rampage! Oh. Man. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. The deadlift German suplex. Tyler Bate heads up high. Once more, setting it up. Fails to hit the bullseye. Caught square by the haymaker. And he sends him into the corner. Using their boot. And JD gets that turn back on him. Quick exchange of counters there. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Suplex! What are they doing here? And there was some force on that move. Oh, oh look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Snap, suplex, very effective. Climbing to the top rope. From the top. Diving headbutt. And he is saved by the ropes. When you're as good as Tyler Bate, you get to set the pace of the match. Saving us from having to sit through that. J.D. McDonough. This spells trouble for Bate. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Oh, man. man. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Because the bill. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He switches it back around. Listen to the impact. Sent into the corner. Butterflies the arms, and over into a suplex. Ireland's fall from J.D. McDonough. Now, McDonough needs to end this. What? You gotta be kidding me. How the hell do you kick out of that? I have no words. Not even a two count? And it's gonna take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Double underhook suplex. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Bate with a kick to the gut, double underhook. Tyler Driver 97. Is that all she wrote for McDonough? Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's gotta hope the opportunity presents itself again. Oh, he fights Bate back. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Setting it up. Down, Brain Buster. I oh, had that well scouted. There's a headbutt and a double knee strike. 
And he's able to counter. McDonough unleashing J.D. McDonough with the devil inside. The Irish ace hitting his mark. Almost. Ireland's call. Oh, Ireland's call from McDonough. Amazingly executed once more. What a kick out at two. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Tiger Bomb! Oh, sit out, Jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Oh! And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Snap suplex. Very nice. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Sleeper slam. Slingshot. Oh, God. Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Whoa. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. Three. Spiked with a Uranagi. Oh, man. Huge boot. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. Nice suplex. Vertical suple. Bam! Using the elbow to escape the attack. Butterflies the arms. Nice butterfly suplex. And JD gets that turn back on him. Bait with a kick to the gut, double underhook. Tyler Driver 97. Will Tyler make it pay off? You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Referee stops the count on the ropes. Oh, man. Enable to counter. Nice takedown stacked for the pin. One. Here he goes for the win. One. He breaks the ref's count before two. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? What are they doing here? And a well-executed move we just saw there. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He steps foot in the ring again. Ireland's call from J.D. McDonough. Going to the well again. Will it produce dividends? That's three. Let me oh, my. And the resiliency to win this one. Morgan might just have more passion than any superstar we've ever seen. You can tell that she is fully invested in the outcome of every match and comes to the ring ready to fight her whole heart out. You might not be wrong. The way that Morgan refuses to back down, even when the odds are stacked against her, is truly impressive. She won't allow herself to let the fans down. And that passionate approach to competition hasn't let her down either. And we'll see if she's ready for the chaotic style of Alba Fire. That's what makes fire such a threat, Saxton. While her offense seems chaotic and frantic, it's actually systematic havoc. Oh, kick finds it. Taken down with the gore buster. A quick response to fire's offense. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Oh, look at this. Hair pull. Up across the shoulders. 
Right into a spine buster. Fire is really gaining the momentum now. Yeah, Morgan has to devise a new plan here. Contact to the back of the neck. That offense taking a toll on her. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Someone call a dentist. Now uh, fireman's carry. Down in a sit-out spine buster. Off into the pin. Stops the count before it too. So resilient. Now the fire has had a career of ups and downs. Corey, that has to be weighing on her mind going into this match tonight. That's what makes Alba Fire so successful, Cole. She doesn't let her past decide her future. Any of her losses become fuel for the fire, so to speak. I think that tenacity will come into play big time here tonight. Liv Morgan needs to figure this out. Yeah, and like I said, Cole, that tenacity from Alba's past is motivating her big time right now. Stiff kick. And Liv perhaps starting to show signs of being outmatched here. Alba has a grace to her offense, but that one just hit like a bag of bricks. Tilt the world head scissor. Alba shifts that to her favor. Up across the shoulders. Down in a sit-out spine buster. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled net slam. Oh, a deafening blow to the chest. And that was a precisely measured attack. Boom! Oh, what a kick. Ooh, devastating kick. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Strikes with a kick. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She could be out of this match. Yeah, not looking good at all. Down with the goal buster. Alba stringing together a stockpile of offense. You're not going to find Alba showing any remorse. Here pulled that slam! Oh, God, face first! Alba fire digging deep into the arsenal here. The gory bomb! What an incredible attack that was from Alba. Systematic chaos. Oh, it's gonna happen. Alba Fire with the swan tar. Game, set, match for Alba Fire. Unbelievable. Kick out at one. Unbelievable. More like inhuman. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Up across the shoulders. Right into a spine buster. And now Liv is under immense pressure. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. Oh, goes down face first from the gourd buster. Well-placed kick. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Connects on the kick. And the time. Now the fire with the swan time. Lives in a terrible predicament. What? How the hell do you kick out of that? I have no words. Not even a two count. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago, back in it now. She saw that one coming. Boom, slam. With authority. Oh. Ooh. And finds a counter. Ooh! And she keeps delivering shots to the torso. She's been effectively targeting that area throughout this match. 
Oh, right to the chest. Ooh. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here. The glory bomb. really gaining the momentum now. You're not going to find Alba showing any remorse. Right to the back of the neck. Oh, it's going to happen. Alba fired with the swan time. So much brutality with that move tonight. 